Once again, another update for all the Gran Turismo 7 players out there. The 1.35 update is now available bringing several additions and improvements to the game. First and foremost, the update introduces three new cars to the lineup. The Aston Martin Valkyrie makes its debut. This officially licensed hypercar version will surely thrill Gran Turismo 7 players. Additionally, the iconic 2004 Subaru Impreza sedan, WRX STI, and the 1995 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 3 GSR join the roster of cars, fulfilling the desire of fans who have long awaited their inclusion. But the update doesn't stop there. Music Rally, the beat-based game mode, returns with six new challenges. This mode, previously only available outside of the main game, now offers a total of 12 rallies for players to enjoy. Groove to the tunes as you navigate the rhythmic courses in this unique experience. Furthermore, players can now indulge in five new engine swaps. This addition lets you take your favorite cars and give them a new lease on life by swapping different engines. Four new World Circuit races have also been added for those seeking new single player challenges. In addition, the update brings two new extra cafe menus centered around Subaru and Mitsubishi. You can collect the specified cars to unlock prizes. Fnatic now officially part of the Gran Turismo 7 lineup, with their steering wheel devices being used in the official Gran Turismo World Series eSport events, means players can explore Fnatic's museum within the brand central and use their logo in the livery editor. Other notable changes include tweaks to the gamepad steering sensitivity, new scape locations, the addition of Igor Fraga's Super GT Lexus livery, improved visibility of required tires during pit-in, and various heads-up display and user interface enhancements. One of my favorites now is that the cars that you've not yet acquired in the Cafe Extra menus now display their availability status. This is undoubtedly a welcomed update, but the Gran Turismo community eagerly awaits the next big update, with hopes for new tracks, Vision Gran Turismo models, and the introduction of GT Sophie AI. So stay tuned for further developments, and let me know your thoughts on this update in the comments below, and tell me what you want to see next for Gran Turismo. Moza Racing caused a buzz in the sim racing world and made headlines recently by unveiling two new products, a 12 Nm direct drive wheelbase, the Moza R12, and a GT style wheel, the Moza KS. The Moza R12 direct drive wheelbase features 12 Nm of direct drive power, sharing the same motor technology found in Moza Racing's flagship R21 base. Said to reduce cogging, electromagnetic vibration, and torque ripple for an ultra-smooth experience. Moza Racing's latest force feedback filtering algorithm claims to enhance dynamic feedback, offering more clarity and richness in communicating oversteer and understeer. The R12 features a military-grade conductive slip ring providing high stability and durability with an infinite steering angle. To manage temperature, the R12 has an advanced control system that constantly monitors the motor and electronic components to deliver stable and reliable performance under all conditions. The housing is constructed from aviation-grade aluminum with automotive-grade laser etching to ensure durability and a long-lasting finish. To complement the R12, Moza Racing presented the KS GT-style racing wheel, crafted with carbon fiber and high-performance polymers. This racing wheel combines durability with lightweight construction. Some key features of the KS GT wheel include a 300mm butterfly design. The design closely resembling real-life GT cars at a 300mm size, the KS wheel aims to deliver ultimate realism and precision. Carbon fiber reinforced composites and high strength steel construction in order to provide strength and rigidity. Fully customizable short travel RGB buttons, 8 color RPM LEDs with customizable brightness for a personalized experience. Hull sensor magnetic paddles, these are anodized aluminum paddles that utilize non-contact hull sensors for stability and precision. Moza aims for comfort, precision, and control for an immersive racing experience using TPE rubber grips and an intuitive button layout. The R12 direct drive wheelbase and the KSGT wheel are now available for order on Moza Racing's official website. The R12 is priced at $589, while the KSGT wheel is priced at $279. Now, based on reviews from some other sim racing content creators, the reactions seem very positive, and I'm also hopeful for an opportunity to try out the R12 and KS wheel at some point in the future. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you're going to be picking up an R12 and if this is an upgrade or your first sim racing wheel.
This may be old news to some, but maybe you missed this one like me. An exciting development in the world of sim racing set to revolutionize the industry, Origa Drive, a sim hardware company owned by the renowned motorsport and automotive supplier BF1 Systems, is taking the virtual racing experience to the next level. BF1 Systems, whose products adorn championship winning vehicles in top level motorsport disciplines, including F1, IndyCar, NASCAR, and Le Mans, have been a trusted supplier of the Porsche 911 GT3 R steering wheels since 2018. Building upon their expertise, Origa Drive embarked on a mission to give drivers a competitive edge where real world racers and dedicated sim racers compete head to head. Their answer, precision engineered, authentic race car wheels adapted to integrate with sim electronics seamlessly. These wheels offer the same performance and quality build level as their real world counterparts, making them the real deal for sim racers seeking an unrivaled experience. So let's dive into the remarkable features that set their upcoming Porsche wheel apart from the competition. One of the standout features is the unparalleled authenticity of these wheels. They are the only officially licensed Porsche 911 GT3 R steering wheels available, identical to those used by the best 911 GT3 R drivers around the world. This wheel is crafted using the same molds and components found on the actual race car, developed in close collaboration with Porsche. These 310 mm diameter wheels weigh a mere 1.2 kilograms, ensuring a more responsive feel for drivers. With a lower hoop for full lock control during tight turns and a hoopless upper section for improved driver visibility of a display, these wheels prioritize both comfort and functionality. Additionally, the wheel comes with an industry standard 6 bolt 70 mm PCD mounting spacer. The button interface on the Origa Drive wheels has been designed to provide tactile feedback with all buttons conveniently located within easy reach of the driver. Furthermore, the whole button is backlit, guaranteeing precise and easy reading even in dark conditions. Drivers can adjust the brightness via the wheel and two rear buttons offer additional functionality. With the introduction of Origa Drive wheels, sim racers now have access to unprecedented level of authenticity, performance and quality. Using authentic race car engineering with cutting edge sim racing electronics, should ensure an unparalleled experience for virtual drivers. Right now, you can currently register to get in line to pre-order the wheel, but no pricing has been announced. But I can be pretty sure this will come at a hefty price tag. This will certainly rise to the top of every sim racing Porsche fan's wish list, and it certainly has for me. So let me know in the comments what do you think this wheel will cost. Thrustmaster is set to release a new, more affordable shifter than their current model, the TH8A. The new TH8S shifter retains all the features of its predecessor, but at a more accessible price point. Designed as a companion to their T248 series of steering wheels and the T128, this shifter can be mounted either to your rig or easily mounted to a desk. The TH8S shifter features an H pattern shift plate with seven gears plus reverse gear, offering direct gear shifting and the ability to adapt to all types of games and vehicles with manual shifting, be it rally, trucks, GT or NASCAR. Thrustmaster claims this shifter will be responsive and precise for clean gear shifts featuring a 1.6 inch 4 cm metal shift lever with an ergonomic sport style shift knob. They explain this is thanks to the frictionless heart technology derived from the TH8A shifter. The TH8S will be compatible with PC racing wheels and console versions on PS5, PS4, Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S providing a solution for a wide range of sim racers. The release of the TH8S shifter is scheduled for July 27th and pre-orders are already open on the official website. This shifter is priced at 70 euros and offers an affordable option for those seeking an enhanced sim racing experience. It is expected to be available through regular distributors like Amazon as well. So let me know in the comments what do you think and if this is something you'd be interested in picking up when it releases. More exciting news for sim racing Porsche fans. KW Studios and Porsche Motorsports have just announced the upcoming release of the Porsche Pack 2023 for race room racing experience. So let's dive into the details of this highly anticipated DLC pack. The Porsche Pack will introduce three great vehicles to race room. Players can look forward to the Porsche 911 GT3 R992, the 911 GT3 Cup car, and the legendary Porsche 944 Cup. Race Room Racing Experience already offers an impressive selection of GT3 cars. The core of this release is obviously the mighty 992 shape 911 GT3 R. 
The Porsche Carrera Cup also continues its official relationship with the Race Room Racing Experience. The DLC pack will present the 2023 Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland Grid. This one makes Cup feature cars arguably more challenging than the GT3 model, with no ABS or traction control allowed. Drivers must showcase their braking technique and throttle control to excel in this high-intensity racing series. The pack includes the iconic 944 Turbo Cup, a front-engine GT that gained an excellent reputation after its launch in 1982. This car was successful in terms of sales and competed at Le Mans even before its official launch. The 1987 model has been meticulously modeled featuring the increased power and a wider track. For those new to race room racing experience, it's important to note that the game is free to play and can be easily installed from the Steam platform. However, in addition to the limited free car and track content, Race Room offers a wide range of add-ons available in the Steam store. So if you want to expand your racing experience even further, be sure to explore the available options. Stay tuned for more updates as we approach the release date in July and get ready to hit the virtual track and experience the thrill of these legendary Porsche vehicles. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Sim Racing Den news. If you enjoyed these updates, please hit the like button as it helps recommend my content to other sim racing enthusiasts. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button now and the bell to be notified when I release a new video. Until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe and enjoy your racing.